Quiet luxury is one of the most significant and challenging trends to describe. Have you heard of quiet luxury? Quiet luxury is taking over. Luxury retailers have seen sales increase pretty much. You'll recognize one of those trends when you see it happening. In our video, we described quiet luxury as less austere than minimalism, but more polished than normcore. Quiet luxury is characterized by its softness and its tactile qualities. It is also beige and gray. To add insult to injury, the modest luxury brand does not have any logos at all. Now, as the trend continues to take off for spring, partly owing to the popularity of series that depict the wealthy elite, such as Succession, it refers back to another economically vulnerable moment in 2008 when the crisis was at its worst. Everlane and Armani are just two examples of businesses selling understated luxury for many years, and they stand to gain from this development. The question is, what exactly is quiet luxury? One definition of quiet luxury is clothing of the highest quality, but also clothing that has timelessness is sophisticated and understated. Instead, think of garments that whisper, such as cashmere sweaters, silk button-downs, or wool overcoats that are portrayed in neutral tones and are made of quality materials. Because someone has taken the time to design the garment structure, instead of something that is disposable and is made to sell only as a two-dimensional product. Like fast fashion, according to Sardari, everything is skillfully fitted. This is the case because the garments are designed by someone who has taken the time to create them. Why is quiet luxury so popular now? The shift towards stealth wealth or quiet luxury is a part of a cycle, much like most other fashion fads on the market. When constraints imposed during the epidemics started to be lifted in 2021, the fashion industry shifted toward peacocking and dopamine dressing, which included designs that exposed more skin, bright colors, and loud patterns. According to Lorna Hall, Director of Fashion Intelligence at Trend Forecasting Business WGSN, it is only logical that fashion trends would change as the excitement of emerging from lockdowns, flush with cash, wears off, and the economy swings in the other direction. On top of that, there is the top-rated HBO series Succession, in which the characters often wear cashmere baseball hats that cost $600 US and are in neutral colors, and do not have any branding, as well as Tom Ford sunglasses that are understated yet costly. The concept of expensive and tasteful is supposed to be conveyed by their stealth wealth style, yet the characters do not behave in a manner consistent with this intention. However, this is not only a case of a famous television program or a conventional trend cycle. There is more here. According to Hall, the current status of the globe is significantly impacting how people are clothed. She said, Right now, we are living through times that call for that more pared-back approach. She referred to several factors, including decreased discretionary income, the possibility of a recession, an increasing emphasis on sustainable and conscientious shopping, and concerns about job security. This is not the first time silent luxury has overtaken the fashion industry, according to Hall, it became a massive trend in 2008 during the Great Recession. Even though fashion may sometimes be insensitive, she said that it is nevertheless finely attuned to the dynamics of society. Flaunting excessive signs of wealth seems tone-deaf when large portions of the population are battling to maintain their houses or keep their homes adequately heated. Nowadays, the concept of silent luxury has reached such a level of popularity that even luxury businesses are being questioned about it. During the results conference for the first quarter of the luxury goods conglomerate LVMA, analysts asked the chief financial officer Jing Jack Gavayoni about the potential effect that the trend may have on the company's portfolio of premium houses, which includes amongst others, Louis Witten, Deer, and Fendi. Gavayoni also said that the tendency was prevalent around 15 years ago, during the Great Recession. He stated that while he feels that most customers still want logoed items, LVMA has many discreet choices for customers to choose from. Loro Piana, which is well known for its cashmere sweaters that are both simple and luxurious, is one of the LVMH brands that is particularly well positioned to gain from the trend, according to Sardari of NYU Stern. In addition, she brought attention to the Italian luxury brand Brunello Cusinelli. The French leather goods company Hermes and Armani, which has been practicing understated luxury for over 20 years at this point. On the other hand, a cashmere sweater from Loro Piana may be purchased for around $1,700, while the price of a Hermes bag that is used can begin at $5,000. Suppose that is a little bit out of your price range. 
In that case, mass market stores are participating in what the quiet luxury trend is encouraging. Long-lasting apparel that is created sustainably and has timeless shapes and materials. Everlane and MN Lafleur, two brands sold directly to consumers, were highlighted by Sardari as examples of companies that provide quality at affordable rates. According to what she stated, not everyone has the financial means to be dressed in Brunello, Cusinelli, and Loro Piana. The aesthetic is more important, but you should also consider whether you need a jumper that is going to fall apart in two washes or whether you want to wait and invest in something that you can wear for a few years," she said. It's more about the aesthetic. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.